Hello, my name is Rebecca Brindley and I'm a designer for Crafts Your Print. Today we're going to be making this card with this matching envelope which all come together in one kit. It's called the Lilies and Lace Teardrop Card Kit in Coffee Caramel and the cup number for it is cup19434 underscore 442. In the kit, there are six sheets. There's an, a backing paper, an envelope insert, the decoupage pieces and the envelope back, the card back, the card front, and the envelope front. Now firstly, after you've printed it out, you'll obviously need to cut them out. And for this, I'm going to use for the long sides anyway, my nice big scissors. I find it easier for long sides of cards. And little tip, if you're printing on white cards, sometimes you get little white edges along the edge. If you cut by just angling your scissors slightly into the card like that, that eliminates all that white edging that we get from cutting with hand scissors. Or well, sometimes you get it with craft knives as well, to be honest. And that would take ages if I sat there and cut it all out. So, in true Blue Peter style, I've already cut some out. And we're going to start off with the envelope. Now for the envelope, there's three pieces. There. And if you take your envelope front, we'll need to score down the lines. So I'm going to use a metal ruler and a scoring tool. It's actually an embossing tool, but it works just as well. And line your ruler up just up to the edge. You'll be able to see because the design, there's, there's a definite line on the design. So line it up and just double score it like that. And what that means is when you come to fold it, it folds really clean and crisp and using your craft your print bone folder of course, you can then smooth that down and you get an excellent edge. Now I'm going to, just going to very quickly do that with the other sides. One, two. One, two, and lastly, when I line it up, there we go, one, two. So there we can just fold that down, fold that down, and lastly fold that one down. So that's the back of the envelope. Now to make it just a little bit pretty, a little bit swish, put in an envelope insert, which is, just adds that finishing touch, I think, anyway. And using my tape runner, you can use glue or anything else you like, really, but I prefer tape runner. I'm just going to run it down very loosely at the edges. It doesn't have to be exact because it just has to catch it's, it's not like when you put the two bits of a card together. Um, with it being inside the envelope, like I say, it just has to catch. And then, I'll try to turn this up the other way so that you can see. I'm going to place that in there. And as you see, it's got two little straight edges at the side there. So if I line that up, I don't know that I can do this upside down actually, but I'm going to try. Um, line that up with the score line and make it kind of approximately in the middle. Uh, yes, I think that'll do about that. And then flatten that down. Just give that a bit of a fold. There we go. 
and that's the inside of the insert, uh, the envelope. Silly me. Now here's the back of the envelope. And firstly, I'm just going to put a little bit of sticky on one side here because if I get it wrong, it's easier to move. So I'm going to put that down there and get the back. We're just going to line it up with that. So I can't possibly do that backwards, so I'll do that my way. Um, line that up there. There we go. And that just pops on the back of there. And then once that's stuck, it's then really easy just to run your tape down the two sides. Whoops, there goes the lid of my tape runner. And then you just fold it over like that. Now, that would usually be very, very straight. It's a little bit wonky, I must admit. That's because I'm trying to do things in a rush. But um, there you go, that's the envelope. It's got the inside, and that's on the outside. So that's the envelope done. Finish. Oh, I'll pop that over there. Now we come to the main card, and when you've cut them out, you'll have the front and the back. And we need to glue those two together, one on top of the other, so that we've got prints on both sides. Which again, I'm going to use my tape runner. Now, if you want to be really, really precise, what you can do is just, you run your tape runner round the edges first, just to give it a fix, like that, she says, quickly. There we go, and just a, a couple down where the straight bits are, just to give it a fix where you're going to be folding it. There we go. And then, if you want to, you can take a quickie glue pen, or one of those little thick ones, and just go down the edges and just put a little bit of glue, just a tiny, weeny little bit, just on the edge there. And when it squishes together, it'll just give you that seal that gives you the professional finish. And then I'm going to pop that on top of there, line it up, it should line up exactly. There we go. And that's the front and the back of the card. Now at this point, this is where we put our score lines in when they're put together because it goes a little bit squiffy if you do it before. But I'm going to line that up. There we go. And again, just two lines, one for that kind of thing. And do that down both of the lines here. And because you've stuck one card on top of another card, it's always best to do the other side as well. Just makes it so that the fibre of the card doesn't break when you fold it. Otherwise, as you, I'm sure you know, you can get quite unsightly floppy bits on the edge. There we go. So, then it's just a case of making sure that you fold it the right way, fold it over, she says, there we go, job done, where's my bottle of there it is, give that a bit of a smoothing, and do the same on this one. And that's your base card. So all that remains from this point on is to put your decoupage pieces on top, which I've already cut out. And in actual fact, I'll swap for that one because no, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> I've already put a piece on here. But um, all you need to do is put your sticky pads on the back. Says. There we go, taking the back off, and just pop them on the card like that. 
and build up the layers. There's, uh, there's quite a few layers on this one, but you can put as many or as few as you like. This one shows all of the layers. And uh, that is basically all there is to it. It's quick, it's easy, it's very, very simple to cut out. The only fiddly bits really are the decoupage. And uh, they're really, they're a bit of an added extra. They add dimension to the card, but the card looks great without the decoupage bits, to be honest. Um, and that's the finished card. Um, there are many more teardrop card kits in the card kit section. Um, I'm sure that if you click on my name and have a look through my kits in the teardrop card kit, you'll find them. Um, and before we go, I'd just like to uh, show you a few of the cards that I've made with other of my cup sheets, which uh, may or may not uh, feature in future cup episodes. Cup TV episodes. Um, oh, I forgot the two over here. Um, it's a Christmassy one. Lots of glitter on that one. I love glitter. Um, and a vintage lady panel there. So I shall see you on my next edition of Cup TV. And in the meantime, have crafting. Goodbye.